Okay, so looking at USD JPY, we had some crazy profits. Um, it was a long-term trade. We did hold it for quite a while, but we finally hit our 200 pip mark. And I know it's been quite a while since I've done this video, and that's primarily because last week I was focusing on gold. But today we are looking at USD JPY. I know you lot really love this currency pair, and we're going to analyze it. And we're also going to look for a new move. Now, as a trader, as a day trader, I'm constantly looking for new moves. I'm constantly looking at different currency pairs. I'm constantly looking for the best pair to show you lot as either a beginner trader or a trader that just wants to find a currency pair that is very profitable. And me personally, I do love the USD JPY pair um, only because for me personally, I like to trade in the New York session and, you know, with USD JPY, the New York session has always given me the most amount of pips and also because it doesn't do crazy moves. Yes, we see huge impulses to the upside or to the downside, but they're very much anticipated. There's is not um uh, it's not a currency pair that you know is crazy. I know we see a load of wicks over here, but again, with a nice size account, you can still make and with the right amount of risk management, you can still make crazy profits with USD JPY. Now, um, I don't want to talk too much about how the currency pair moves, I really just want to look at the analysis and I want to see if we can find another entry to the market and stay with the trend. So the way I format my videos, if you are, um, you know, watching me again, make sure you subscribe, first of all. And also, you do know how I trade. I always do this three steps to where I analyze. The first step is identifying the trend. Now, it's really, really important as a trader to identify the trend because without identifying the trend, you will not know whether to place buys or sells. And it's really, really important to identify it on a higher time frame, especially if you are a day trader, because then it helps everything when you scale down to the 50 minute time frame. So that's the first thing is your trend. The second thing is key levels. Now, I don't know if you saw, but at the beginning of this video, you can see over here, I've got a bunch of key levels. Now, sometimes they can stay the same for a month. Sometimes they can change within a couple days, but it's very, very important to identify key levels every time you analyze the chart. Now, me personally, I only analyze the chart once or twice a week. But that doesn't mean that my key levels are um, changing or not changing. That just means that I analyze maybe once or twice a week and those key levels have to be strong enough to hold um, the time scale of once or twice a week, okay? And the third thing is order zones. Now, I have um, received a lot of DMs, a lot of messages on what is order zones? Why do you draw order zones? Now, this is something I personally do, and I do try and tell every trader to do, and I do tell my students as well, that try and start implementing order zones. This is something I've done myself. And what it, what it basically is, is you draw an area, and once the price is at that area, it disciplines you to only trade when price is at this area. So for example, if I said that price is when price gets over here, I want to trade. What I'll do is I'll draw a little area. I will write order zone and I will not look at the market until price gets back to that area. It's as simple as that. And I feel like that changed the whole game when I started trading, because sometimes what I used to do is I would trade and I look at the market and be like, okay, let me just buy or sell. I'll be very, very, you know, rushing to place trades. But since I've implemented order zones, which I don't think that many traders do, but since I've implemented order zones, I've suddenly improved my, you know, my uh, way of trading and I've cut down all the unnecessary trades. Okay. But anyways, now looking at the market, so we've identified three things we need to do to analyze this market. What we need to do is first identify the trend. So looking at from let's say where price is right now if i draw an area okay and this is what i uh, i i like to tell my students as well if we look at from the beginning of last month so let's just actually cancel this area so beginning from last month to now what is price done okay so price has gone towards the upside we can clearly see price has made its way up yeah so from here to around here we can see price has all it's been doing is it's consolidated a bit but it ended up impulsing and going up. And I'm just going to cancel out this, this trade now, so we don't need to see it anymore. And or we so we understand that cool price is at an uptrend, is not the best uptrend, unfortunately, which is so I'm not going to draw a trend line, but we know that price is going 
on the upside, okay? Now, what we need to do is now we need to identify key levels while, before we get into the one hour chart. So we can see that price impulse to the upside broke this key level. So broke this level over here, okay, which I'm gonna draw out. It broke this level over here and um, surprisingly that level is actually 141 okay and that's actually one of our key levels so it broke one of our key levels and then it's now gone um, towards you know the 141 500 level and guess what that's also another key level we had in our last video for USD JPY so again if you don't if you haven't seen that go check out my last video for USD JPY because that's where I show these key levels and because we're going on upside, we don't need to show this key level, 139, okay? But we have these key levels drawn out, okay? And we, we now know that price has impulse to the upside and we've had a break of structure, okay? And what I like to do is I like to show that we have a break of structure, okay? As we had an impulse to the upside. Now, once we had a break of structure, price ended up retesting these highs that we had because at the end of the day it did impulse and break these highs which it did so again this is another key area that we need to look at okay and I'm gonna just draw it out like this so you can see price has um, broken out of this uh, these highs over here and then price continues to the upside so now what we need to do is we need to identify our targets okay and that's with our key levels so again, looking at price, I'm not going to draw uh, an area, I'm just going to draw an arrow only because it makes my uh, chart as neat as possible. Again, the neater your chart is, the better it is. And this was the retest level. So again, this is just a break of structure over here as well. Price ended up retesting, which um, I'm just going to draw another area over here uh, just to say this was a retest right around over here. We saw a retest. Um, if you just bear with me, retest. Uh, okay. And we've seen a retest to this area. Okay. And price is now gone towards the upside. So it identifies for me that price is continuing to the upside. So all I'm looking for now is buy only trades. So we're going to say buy only trades. Okay. I only want to be in the market looking for only buys okay so this is very important so we're looking at buy only trades we know that price is an uptrend let's look at where price is going to be to um you know for example an order zone so let's go on the one hour okay and and just before i continue can you if you lot noticed my moving average is at this area the one for one area and that's something where I, it's very very important i'm going to go into the one hour now let's have a look at what price has done so I believe that price is going up, is retracing now. So this is a retracement and I am looking, we are gonna use a Fibonacci retracement because you can see that price is going up, is retracing, and you can see that price looks like it could go to the 61.8 extension, which is going to be my order zone. So again, looking at the market, it looks like I can place a buy over here, stop loss just below the 78.6 extension because I don't want to be in a trade if price goes way below here. And my target is going to be either these highs or even possibly going up to the 142.89 key level. But at the moment, to be on the safe side, even though this is a brilliant trade, right, it's a nice almost 1 to 3 ratio and around 146 pips. So this is a trade I'm going to send to my Discord as well. And we've broken it down. We've understood why we're going to place this trade. We understood where we're going to place entries. And we understood that we use a Fibonacci extension. Um, that's number one. Number two is we had a break of structure and price is going to retest this area. And number three is because we are on an uptrend, we're only looking for buys. Okay, now if price ends up breaking these lows, that's when we would look to sell instead of buying. But at the moment, price hasn't done that. So we're just waiting for, again, price to continue to um, follow this trend line that we've created. Okay, and I know it's probably not the best trend line, um created within the market but this is a trend line that we've made okay i'm just going to cancel this one and this is is not the best trend line again trend lines doesn't have to be the best as long as it can you know hold point a point b point c that should be fine so price gets down to here bounces off 
again waiting for the right candlestick if you don't see a rejection candlestick don't place a trade and then scaling up for just either this high or scaling up for a little bit higher using a fibonacci extension okay other than that guys i hope you lot enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe i know you lot all watch this video and you don't subscribe so make sure you subscribe join the community and again if you're interested with free analysis um a community full of traders make sure you go check out my discord server and again follow my instagram as well i give one of the best tips on instagram at the moment for traders and investors or if you're a crypto trader any type of trader the best advice is on my instagram so make sure you go check that out other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the video and check me out in my next video